What's up, each bronies? Welcome back to the fucking channel. Today we have a bit of a different content. Um, I will be reacting to a baseball TikTok video. Um, it's more like a on YouTube. There's like a compilation video of baseball TikToks, and I'll just simply just be reacting um, the way I fucking react. Basically, I haven't seen the video yet, so I'm kind of excited to see what the fuck we got going on. Um, shout out to the guys at Momentum for the idea. And then uh, let's get it going, man. So before we get going, uh, we got a beer here. I can't share the label, but I'll, it's pretty easy to tell. It's fucking Corona. It's Corona, but if it's a beer company, if there's a beer company that wants to sponsor me, hit me up. Um, and also I have uh, this pretty cool uh, baseball bat mug. Um, shout out to uh, Mark Lumber for hooking it up. And I got my logo and everything. Lift heavy, drink beer, hit bombs. I don't know what more you want me to say. So, let's fill this baby up. Come on. Look at this fucking big league pool right here. Let's go. I used to be a bar manager, so I know how to fucking pour beer. Anyways, um, I'll take a little sip. For the boys. All right, so let's see what we got here. I don't know what the fuck to expect, really, to be honest. So we will see what the fuck we got going on. All right, so the video is 13 minutes of epic baseball TikToks. So we will see what we got here. Um, so yeah, man, I'll just react to it. If it's a trash swing, I'm just gonna fucking shit on it. If it's a trash throw, I'm gonna shit on it. If it's a good throw, I'm still gonna shit on it. That's what I do. So. Get going. All right, first one here. And that's a long ways to run back and forth. I think this guy's doing some kind of trick shot. To He's trying to hit up. that. Um, and then this happened. Hit the, with the, what kind of ball? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, scared the fuck out of me. Damn, shit, man. Fucking A, that's how I'm gonna start? Fuck, don't ever do that shit again. What a fucking piece of shit. Sick play. Oh! That was pretty nasty. Okay, that was it. Okay, that was pretty quick. Alright, we got an 11 month baby here. Trying to hit. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Pretty terrible swing, to be honest. Getting better. 17 months, so baby has grown. I got a baby coming, so I'm pretty excited for that, too. Oh, shit! Kids raking now. I don't know how. There you go. Again, just just some kids are just born with it. They just fucking either rake or they don't. It just when they're born, you know. But obviously this kid did get better. Um, so go for this kid, man. Shit, he's got a better swing than I do. For fuck's sakes. Kids raking. Still raking. <laughs> a little slow mo action. <laughs> If you haven't um, seen my post, uh, my wife is pregnant. Very sick baby. Oh shit, let's go. So I'm very excited for the baby to come out. Um, hey man, like to be a dad, man, it's just an incredible feeling. Uh, we are about 16 weeks deep right now. So um, yeah, man, we got we got 20 some, 24 more to go or whatever. And then uh, we'll pop that baby out. And uh, boy or girl, man, I'm gonna fucking throw gas and hit tanks with the baby, so. I'm fucking very much looking forward to it. Anyways, let's continue. I need a beer. The Red Sox, little ball girl. Okay. Not good for him, good for that kid to give the ball to that girl. That was kind of eyewash, but whatever. Feel good stuff, it's fine. It's from Evan Leak, like some high school jabronis. What the fuck was that about? Uh, what the fuck? Next one's from Wave TV. Looks like the kid's about to rip a... Oh! That's tight! Fucking right in the face! Picture for the maker committed to Vandy throw 95 plus. He's not even throwing the ball, but okay, that's fine. I'm guessing he's just mimicking it or whatever. 
TikTok's a, it's a different ball game, man. I got my TikTok going on. I do have a pretty decent following. It's like 220,000 uh, followers. And I'm almost at like 10 million likes or whatever. But yeah, it's a different animal, man. Like, so some videos just do extremely well. Some don't. It's just the way it is, but... MLU Scout Radio Song, whoever was his battle. Okay, time out. I know scouts, alright? My friends are scouts, okay? Scouts don't care who the fuck wins the battle, okay? Scouts don't give a fuck about how good you are, and that's all that matters. If you have a team full of 30 draft picks, you can have that. Because if they're all fucking good enough, they'll get signed. If all of your pitchers throw 95+, plus, they're going to get signed. Like, that's just the way it is. If all your hitters fucking, you know... Hit 25 jacks, they're gonna get signed. No matter who the fuck wins, uh, the whatever the fucking AB, live AB, or games, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just be good at fucking baseball. Okay, so that was eyewash. Okay, next one, we got Goaded Windex. When the stars align on your birthday. Okay, looks like some jabroni. Young jabroni. Got a game action. Bases loaded, two outs down by three. Last inning of the championship game. I hope it's a fucking tank here. He better hit a tank here. No! Oh, did you? And you the tank to the fence? How do you hit a tank to the fence? Alright, time out. Kids, a tank is a homer, okay? You can't hit a tank to the fence, alright? You can't hit a line drive to the fence. You can't hit a fucking tank to the fence. A tank is a fucking yachty. It's a fucking tank. Fucking. It's gone out of the field, alright? Just gone forever. Does that make sense? So don't do that. But yeah, it looks like all the runs scored. It's a trip. Oh, he's doing an inside park homer. Nice, that's tight. Good for the good for the kid, man. All right, next one we got an overtime. Bombs away. Kid says bombs away. Dad's reaction. Oh! That is so tight, dude. That's what I want to do when I'm a dad. So I'm gonna fucking give up tanks. Actually, I'm gonna strike out my kid, cause fuck that. I'm gonna teach, if I have a boy, I'm gonna teach him fucking toughness. Probably gonna K his ass all the time. And then, you know, but when he finally gets it, man, I'm gonna give him all the credit, you know what I'm saying? Next one, it says 60 miles per hour. Oh, he's just wearing it, that's tight. 65, 75, <laughs> that's awesome. This is something I would do for sure. That's a bad spot, dude. Getting hit, getting the hit, sucks. The best style to get hit is like right here where it's like meaty or whatever. Elbow sucks, like like right here sucks, back sucks because you can't reach like to like it's to itch or Shake whatever. The Shake the boys! Shake the Next one by Breer <laughs> Williamson. They're just shaking the bus but the jabroni kids. I have no baseball what's inside of baseball, inside. layer one so leather. First we took the razor blade and pulled all the stitching so we could easily rip off the cover of the baseball. And then next, we used the razor blade to slice through the string because it was all sticky and gross, so it would make it easier okay. to come off. And the third layer is the yarn, and if you get it right, you can... I've actually done this when I was a kid. And there's the core. The yeah, I used to, um... Funny story, we did that like when I was a kid or whatever, and with that little small bouncy ball piece, um, we used to hit it with like a stick, so that it's like... You're working a hand-eye coordination or whatever. This is a beat-up ball. We're not going to use it, so we just did that. And we did that in Korea, actually. Um, coach basically made us do that with all those shitty balls or whatever, so. Does anyone else remember this from 2012? Harvard Baseball, Call Me Maybe cover. Yeah, I've actually seen this. This shit fucking went viral. Are any of them TikTok? She's just obviously um, trying to get these dudes' attention. Um... Hey, you gotta, you gotta shoot your shot, you know? All right, next by Cole Godkin. Kids uh, just throwing at a field. Houston Astros field looks like. 87. 92. Okay, that gun gotta be fucking juice, man. You don't go from 87 to 92 like that. 93? Man, I'll be throwing fucking 105 on that bitch. Maybe he does throw 93. I don't know. But I don't know how accurate these guns are. Um, let's pause this real quick. Um, I've done some stadium tours uh, with Momentum, um, like MLB ballparks, uh, touring around. Been to about six of them now so far. And then I've done like a, I haven't done like a pitch clock yet, but I've seen them around or whatever. They don't really seem very accurate. I don't think they use a, a stalker. Obviously, they're not gonna use a stalker. I think they just use like a, like a Bushnell or some bullshit um, gun-wise. So I think that's what it is. Uh, but either way, 
you go to a ballpark, man, get drunk. I mean, you just uh, you have fun with it. So be it. Um, but for me, the only numbers that count is um, of Stalker or Pocket Radar, in my opinion, just because those are the most accurate guns um, in the game. And also Repsoto numbers. Repsoto numbers can be a little bit juiced at times, so uh, be careful with that. So Okay, so next one says, his son said he would dust his dad. Okay, he's going to get fucking murdered here, I can tell. This is something I would do as a dad. If my kid challenges me in anything, I'm going to fuck him up, man. Like, I don't give a fuck who you are. Don't fucking challenge me. Yeah, I just got dusted. That's exactly what I would be doing. And I'll fucking pimp that shit in front of my kid. <laughs> like, fuck you, you know? People say I start my swing before the ball comes out. People say I guess where the ball is going to be. What but the I fuck is happening? 9.568 of every pitch. I swung at 22,700. That's a trash ass swing, bro. 98. I keep counting. I have a streak going right now. That is fucking some horse shit right there. Whoever knows this jabroni is, I will fucking face him in live ABs. I will fuck him up. I challenge anybody on the planet. That swing's so trash. He's like super close to the machine, but you're throwing the fucking whatever. On to the next one. My last high school play ended with a broken wrist. Okay, sick. Next one, junior year, zero offers by Blaine, 77. Senior year, 18 offers. Looks like a motivational type um, TikTok. Good for the kid, man. Committed to Vandy. Good for him. Shit. Quite possibly one of the best programs you can go to in the nation right now. Um, they're just good, man. Fuck. And he got drafted by the Mets, seems. It looks like he just signed pro right away. Good for him, shit. Blaine McIntosh. I've never heard of him, but good for him, shit. That's awesome. Like that kind of like uh, motivational stuff is pretty cool in my opinion because uh, I'm the same way. Um, when I was out of high school in Canada, I went to high school in Canada, uh, that's where I played ball, and I had zero offers, um, and uh, in May of my senior year, um, I had a GCO that offered me, which we ended up signing with, it's Kobe Community College, I'm forever thankful to them, just because of all the stuff I did after as well, and yeah, man, I only had one GCO offer in May of my senior year, um, I signed, went to GCO, it's my sophomore, um, here in JUCO, I had about 60 offers, dude. It was just insane amount of offers. Um, after the sophomore showcase, it's what they threw. Um, and any JUCOs or any, yeah, most of the JUCOs will do that. Um, they'll throw like a sophomore showcase so that the sophomores can get signed with uh, four-year schools or or even get drafted or whatever. It's like a like a like a pro workout or whatever, right? So with a bunch of college scouts and stuff like, or college uh, recruiters and like pro scouts and stuff like that. And then I, I crushed it and uh, obviously I had like about 60 offers. Funny story with that, um, uh, my phone bill, which I had a Canadian phone, like I had a, an American phone, but like it was like still Canadian plan or whatever, because like I'm from Canada and I, my parents were paying my bill or whatever. And then uh, my mom's like, why the fuck is your phone bill like 300 bucks? Like what are you doing? And I'm just, literally said hey like i'm getting all these calls from like college coaches i get i was getting i was literally getting a call at least twice a day uh like every single day uh by like different schools um uh, with like like all the recruiters trying to get in touch with me or like seeing where i'm at where i'm at like like where i'm gonna sign or whatever um and yeah man it was an incredible experience um and after that when i went to usf obviously i chose usf uh which is a d1 in tampa florida I ended up signing uh pro contract after that i got drafted as a junior so yeah just the whole process again i know exactly what this kid is talking about because i went from zero to to 100 or whatever you know so it's pretty cool and then i guess the whole point of his tiktok is hard work pays off and i completely agree with it because i put in my work and it paid off so right let's continue looks like we're about done right another overtime fucking tiktok josh johnson brought a kid onto the field i like when big leaguers do that man bring the kids or like any fans like I mean, a little more involved? Looks like it's the last one. We waited for him to come back. Oh, he's gonna play catch with him. That's cool. Yeah, man, this is cool. Again, the the big leaguers know that it's for the kids, man. And 
So like I really hate when I get to see those um, posts and seeing all these old people trying to get signature before the kids and trying to like get in the kids way like it's just bad it just why just you know just wait your turn and just kids first man no matter what so um anyways that's it for the for the video so anyways i'm gonna chug this fucking beer thanks for watching um if you haven't like Subscribe or fucking die. Check out my merch, Juco Bandit merch, uh, www.kingofjuco.com. And I'll see you later. Peace.